Hey everybody, how's it? How's everybody doing? Hope you enjoyed the last couple days of uh, doing things, uh, this whole COVID twist with your families over the holidays. Um, I spent some time kind of sussing out the direction of my channel. Tomorrow I'm going to introduce something new. I guess as I'm growing and this is becoming more and more relevant to my day to day, like, hmm, what should I do today? Go surfing or write a song kind of thing. Um, I'm going to be releasing a new, I guess you want to call it a series, called Why This Song Melts Your Face. <laughs> Alright, today I've got something completely different. Um, I had a lot of comments saying you got to check out this guy. He's a piano player, instrumentalist. His name is Tigran Hamasian. If I get the name wrong, I count on your comments to correct me. Uh, the song is called Levitation 21. So before... Um, I, I was kind of so curious about it. I did listen to one of his tracks before and it was called something like Maps, New Maps or something like that. And I went, oh my gosh, this is absolutely crazy. So hang in there. Uh, for those of you who are down for more of my prog rock, prog metal core and all the stuff that we've been doing on this um, site, I think we're in just for some pure instrumental um, loving uh, with what potentially is going to come on this track here. And then I also have my uh, cycle of uh, super metal and core and stuff coming again in a couple days. But I wanted to go ahead and venture, maybe bring something new to you guys. And for those of you who just want to hang out just to see if my face melts a little bit here, here we go. All right. And also, uh, <coughs> excuse me, AKG 240s, links below for uh, these headsets, uh, studio uh, monitor or studio headsets. I want to thank you very much for those of you who bought me a cup of coffee. That link is down there. Um, I'm blown away when I get the little ping. Hey, somebody gave you $2 for a cup of coffee. All right, guys, here we go. All right. Tigran Hamasian, Levitation 21. Oh my god, <laughs> that is absolutely, piano core, okay, we got metal core, we got piano core, you know, here's something that I learned when I did some quick um, uh, research on him, two influences that were uh, a part of his, you know, growth here was Mushuga, and I also noticed that the band that I just did, Animals as Leaders, the guitar player there, is also actually on this project. I, I want to listen to that later, but I want to hit this. I don't know if I have the depth 
<laughs> in my education to actually do a breakdown. I think this literally just might actually be a pure 100% reaction. I will say a few things. I noticed that once he locks himself into a pocket and he gets himself into the and he gets himself into his trickery with his meter. Um, he really likes to hang in there and really drill into you uh, what he's doing with his left hand. Actually, there's if if I'm since I'm not watching him play, uh, he's doing two hands. You know, with that what seems to be in a lower octave or a mid mid range keyboard lower um, uh, uh, playing that's going on here until he expands out. Uh, at the very 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 beginning when he started playing at that what is now a half tempo. Way back, I'm listening in the cans, and I can hear a little bit of a bleed of the drums. It's possible, you know, we do a lot of things when we do recordings. It's possible that they all came in at once, and that and when they decide to mix out, they, they'll mute things. You know, sometimes, you know, that's part of the production, part of being a creative individual in your engineering, is sometimes you'll have 25 tracks of stuff happening, but you decide, well, let's open it up. Let's not, uh, let's not have the drums come in until a certain way. I'm not saying I know that's how this happened, I just hear just a little bit of bleed through one of the mics or something. It sounded like there could have been that. And then they decide to unmute the drums or something like that. It doesn't matter. This level of musicianship, I, I, like I said, I can't. I'd have to listen to this 10 times just to probably figure out what I think <laughs> would be the meter. You know, um, I'm sure that some of the more, um, the, uh, the Adam Neely type, um, uh, theory geeks that are out there on YouTube, I'm sure they probably do it a lot faster than I do, but I don't know that I'm qualified, so I'm not going to make an ass of myself. Uh, but we're just going to keep listening to this. I have no idea what to expect. This is absolutely mental. <laughs> I don't know how to, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know how to respond in such a, in a, in a, in a, in a magical way to this. 
That last section, we heard the drummer kind of square off into a real fundamental 4-4 as um, he completely, Tigran completely just massacred, uh, in a good way, uh, that polyrhythmic um, uh, playing and stuff. I Hearing this little last few bars that I heard there, I said, oh, okay, well, it sounds like there's just a little sequence or a little rhythmical pattern uh, sequence in one key that da, 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 that didn't sound like a piano. I could be wrong. Now, if that was threaded through, which once again, something like this, I do have to listen to it first uh, quite a few times to really, you know, dig deep. But if that was threaded through in certain parts in the mix, then that will actually add to the support of the, the human nature of him playing into what he's doing. When I was doing this, that's just the craziest uh, musicianship ever is in unison two hands, you know. Um, but this kind of reminds me a little bit of my uncle's album in 1991 called Free Play, where there was things that my uncle was doing, one meter on the left hand, another meter on the right hand while doing, I don't know, it just I still can't even, my own uncle, my own family stuff I still haven't figured out. And I can get my hands on the charts on that and I still haven't, I've been remiss. Anyhow, what a piece of magic from this guy, uh, Tigran Hamasian. I'm definitely diving in deeper. Th uh, thank you guys for turning me on to him. I'm sorry, I no offense, but I my bubble is my bubble at my age. I listen to the music I listen to, but this was an incredible presentation of utter musicianship. And he seems to really be driven by the mechanics of rhythm, the meter changes and stuff. You know, when you're this good and you're doing pr prog jazz, fusion, I don't even know what they're going to call this, uh, he has the liberties with his actual skill set to be doing all kinds of crazy beautiful things and staying, even if you're staying in the root the whole time, you know, you could be going all over the place with melodies and chord changes and be completely mental with 12-tone type approaches and stuff, but he decided that his, at least in this track, he really wanted to drill down on the intensity of, of polyrhythms and meter changes and stuff. And I'm, I'm sure as I go through his discography, I'm going to get blown away. So thank you guys for turning me on to him. Um, and uh, geez, I, I am dumbfounded. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to go out and sit on the beach for a minute and let this soak in. <laughs> All right, everybody, once again, thank you so much for all the comments. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for sharing. I'm beginning to realize people share these videos out to like on Twitter and, and Facebook too because now I know how to, how to read the analyzing analytics in the back. So I was going, oh, check that out. That's cool. All righty, that's it. I'm out of here. I got I to gotta step out. I literally have to step out after hearing this and just chill. All right. Aloha.